Okay. So can you please start with your introduction? Yes. Uh, I am Rajesh Patel. I belong to Anand district in Gujarat, which is also called as milk capital of India. I completed my B.Tech in mechanical engineering from the Ramsing Desai University and graduated in 2021. During my final year, I did industrial training at L&T Heavy Engineering in Surat district of Gujarat. Then I joined L&T Technology Services via campus placement. It's been almost around three years uh, since I started my professional journey with LNT Technology Services. Okay, done. So, Bridgesh, you did your bachelor's in mechanical, right? So, yes. why didn't you go for master's after that? Uh, Ma'am, actually, I wanted to have some practical exposure so that I can apply my technical knowledge, what I have learned uh, throughout those four years. So, but in even uh, in future, if it is required for my organization to do a master's to improve my knowledge, I will be more than happy to do it. Okay, done. So, uh, you told me that it's been three years you're working in an organization, right? That's a private organization. Yes, ma'am. Okay? So, what is the reason behind this? Like, what is the like major motivational factor which lets you join NFL? Um, Ma'am, during my college days, I wanted to join a PSU and NFL being a Maharatna PSU, uh, it will provide me ample of opportunities to grow both personally and professionally. Okay. And if I talk about your career, like from three years, you're working in an organization with a good handful of salary also, right? So if I'll compare it with the role which you'll get in NFL, what do you think? Like, you're working in a private organization, it does give you more opportunities and like a good career or if you'll be joining NFL? Uh, Ma'am, no doubt in private organization, you can also get uh, good exposure and good skills. But in the long run, NFL will provide me a job satisfaction uh, that will I get by working with NFL. Okay. So my next question is, uh, Brijesh, whenever we join an organization, basically, uh, like the environment is totally different to what we are already working in, right? And if you'll be joining NFL, that will be a totally different environment for you. The people there will be different. So how you will adapt yourself in that particular environment? Uh, um, when I joined first year at LNT, uh, everything was new to me. The people, the work culture, uh, the machineries and all. But I easily adaptable. I easily adapt uh, to those situations. So in the future, if I join NFL also, it will help me to adapt easily to those things. Okay. My next question to you is, Brijesh, like, if you will be joining NFL, okay, so already I'm working from last three years. Right. So you might have learned a good skills set of skills in these three years. Like according to you, what set of skills you have learned in these three years, your past experience, which will not give you an advantage in NFL? In terms of technical skills, uh, I have become good at creating and reading the different types of manufacturing drawings. And talking about my uh, soft skills, I have become a great team player as I am collaborating regularly with my juniors and seniors as well as uh, participate in client meetings. And also by completing uh, varieties of different tasks, I have become good at decision making and problem solving skills. So this will be very helpful for me in NFL. Okay, so you used the word team player, right, Rajesh? So in your mm -hmm. eyes, what is the definition of a team player? Uh, team player uh, would be the person who communicates and listens uh, very actively uh, to others and uh, make sure that uh, there is no language barrier as such. Okay. So, uh, Brijesh, like uh, you described a little bit about the team player. So, how you think that you being a team player will adjust in NFL? You think that uh, like what qualities or what skills you have in terms of a team player which will help you in NFL? Um, 
मैम वॉट एवर टास्क गिवन टू मी एज एन टीम प्लेयर आई विल गिव माई बेस्ट एंड मेक श्योर दैट आई I complete uh, each and every detail, uh, particularly to that task, so that the project uh, runs smoothly. Okay, so like uh, your family supporting you for this particular role, Rajesh? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. My family is always supportive for my decisions. Okay, so if you'll be joining, if by God's grace you get selected for NFL, okay. So if you're joining NFL, so what is the uh, like? Uh, Like if you'll be joining NFL, so when you will be getting a pressure, like you will be getting a work, uh, there like a lot of work there. So how how you will create a work life balance, like how you'll manage all the things. Uh, throughout these three years as well, uh, I was able to handle different uh situations where I was a bit stressed out or working under pressure, but I handled those situation in a very uh calm manner. so in nfl also i will be doing the same and i will take those situation as an uh, enthusiasm rather than an uh, over pressure uh, and in this situation also i feel that by tackling those uh, i am actually feeling that i am growing by handling those situations okay so everyone has a long term goal and objective prajesh right you might also have some long term goals and objectives how you think that this role of nfl will align to your long term goals and objectives uh my long term goal is to be at a senior position or become a team leader where i will be making impactful decisions uh i think that uh by joining nfl i will uh, get that opportunity to grow myself in the future line okay yeah, done so my last question to you is like uh, bridges if you want to join nfl that is a public sector right so why only public sector you choose for your growth and for your career like the reason behind it of joining like or selecting public sector as your future uh ma'am in public sector uh along with the opportunities that i will get which will be helpful in growing myself as an individual i will be my work here will directly or indirectly create an impact uh, in the lives of people especially farmers so the personal satisfaction that i will get here will be uh, unmatchable compared to other institutions or organizations Okay, done. So, Brijesh, now let me give you the feedback. So, you have a good knowledge. Okay, you have good command on your language. You have good knowledge. लेकिन आप nervous क्यों? आपको पता है आप confused अपने चेहरे से दिख रहे हो. अपने uh, like अपनी आवाज़ से और अपने answers से नहीं दिख रहा. आप अपने चेहरे से confused दिख रहे हो मुझे. ऐसा क्यों? Nervous क्यों के बैठे हो? आप interview खत्म हो गया तो आपके चेहरे पे वो smile आ गई. वो पहले कहाँ थी? पहले डर क्यों रहते? just i was uh, thinking about the answers of those questions ha maine ek cheez ka dhyan pata kya rakhna hota hai andar hamare jo cheez chalti hai na wo hamare chehre pe dikhti hai to mujhe pata hai tum andar se dar rahe the answer dete hue ki pata nahi main sahi answer de raha hu ya nahi main apna next question kya hoga aap next question ki pehle soch rahe the ki pata nahi ma'am next question kaun sa puchegi main answer de paunga ya nahi ye sari cheeze mujhe chehre pe reflect kar rahi thi see tumhare paas na knowledge bahut achhi hai tumhe pata hai tumhari strength kya hai rajesh tumhare paas knowledge achhi hai aur tumhara communication acha hai बट अगर हम उसको नर्वसनेस के साथ दिखाएंगे तो वो चीज मैच ही नहीं करेगी और अगर हम उसको कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ दिखाएंगे तो एक एडवांटेज देगी दैट विल बी टेन ऑन टेन फॉर यू ठीक है <laughs> और दूसरी चीज ये है कि आप ना कभी कभी कोई आंसर्स के बीच में जस्टिफिकेशन प्रॉपर नहीं दे पा रहे मुझे लाइक like, आप एक लाइन में खत्म करके एंड यू आर लाइक मेरा आंसर हो गया मैं तो यहाँ आपको बता दूंगी कि वो सफिशियंट नहीं था लेकिन जब आप एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू दोगे वो ये चीज नहीं बताएंगे वो बस सुनेंगे एंड दैट इज द इनपुट फॉर दैम ठीक है एक चीज हमेशा ध्यान में रखनी है कि जो आंसर पूछा जाता है उसकी एक प्रॉपर जस्टिफिकेशन देनी है वो आंसर एक लाइन का नहीं होना चाहिए वो आंसर 25-30 लाइनों का नहीं होना चाहिए वो एक सफिशिएंट आंसर होना चाहिए ठीक है फाइव टू सिक्स लाइंस का जो हमें एक्सप्लेन करने में हेल्प करे कि मैं उनसे क्वेश्चन क्या पूछा गया डन इन चीजों पर वर्क करना है सो so देट जब नेक्स्ट टाइम रिजेश आए मुझे और कॉन्फिडेंस दिखे उनके चेहरे पर सो देट मैं और क्वेश्चन अच्छे से पूछ पाऊँ डन यस मैम मतलब ऐसा मतलब कौन से क्वेश्चन में आपको ऐसा लगा कि जस्टिफिकेशन थोड़ा 
मैंने आपसे वो क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि मैंने एक क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछा था लाइक तीन प्लेयर्स से जो पहले वाला मैंने आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा था एक कि जब चैलेंजेस और लाइक एनवायरमेंट नहीं होगी तो आप अडेप्ट कैसे कर पाओगे है ना फिर मैंने आपसे टीम प्लेयर वाली चीज पूछी आपने आंसर नहीं दिया मैंने आपसे क्वेश्चन ही पूछ लिया फिर आपकी आईज में टीम प्लेयर क्या होता है ओके हाँ तो वो मैं बताती हूँ मैं तो आपको सिर्फ प्रिपेयर करने के लिए उसी चीज में डालूंगी लेकिन जब मुझे लगेगा ना प्रॉपर जस्टिफिकेशन नहीं है मैं आपको तैयार करने के लिए क्वेश्चन पे क्वेश्चन पूछूंगी कि मुझे जस्टिफिकेशन मिल जाए बट एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू पे ऐसा नहीं डन तो हमें उस चीज का थोड़ा बहुत ध्यान रखना है अदरवाइज यू आर गुड टू गो ठीक है ओके यस मैम थैंक यू रजीश